It is time. So we would like to begin Cyber Agents FY 2022 first quarter earnings briefing. This session is being live streamed. Please refer to the disclaimer included in the briefings document with respect to the content shared today. Now I would like to hand the microphone over to President and CEO Fushita. This is the President and CEO Fujita. FY 2022 first quarter, I would like to take you through the performance. FY 2022, or FY, sorry, this is for the first quarter, starting from October to and lasting until December of 2021. First, starting with the sales. It was it went up by 30.6% year on year, and the OP went up by 2.8 times. So within our the budget that we had internally, we didn't we have not disclosed the forecast for this fiscal year yet. So we this is not disclosed yet, but it is far more than the budget that we had internally defined. And in terms of the media business, it went up by 22.4% year on year, so it is doing well. And the ad business as well has grown by 14.7% year on year, and the game business grew by, increased by 94.7% year on year. So we have significantly increased both sales and OP. This is the quarterly results. This is the sales. If I know that those of you who have been keeping an eye on us for a couple of years are aware, but the first quarter tends to be a difficult quarter for us, but year on year we have grown by the OP by 2.8 times, so we have significantly increased our profit or revenue, sorry. Sorry, we were talking about sales. So the sales has increased significantly. Last, at the end of last year, when we didn't provide a forecast for this fiscal year, we told you that the game business is volatile and it's hard to predict. And we wanted to make the Uma Musume a little bit more stable, and it is becoming more stable. We have seen signs of stability. And sorry, this is, we've gone back and forth a little bit, but the OP has grown by, increased by 2.8 times, so we significantly increased profits as well. In terms of SGNA, the game business and win ticket, we have launched a, a marketing campaign, so the ad spend has increased slightly. And we have 6,171 employees to date as of the end of December. And this is the PL. And this is the balance sheet. There's no major changes to the balance sheet either. So in terms of the FIS forecast for this fiscal year, we have not provided a fiscal year forecast yet. As we mentioned, for the first quarter, we have far surpassed our internal budget. And Uma Musume, we wanted to make sure that the business was a little bit more stable, and we're starting to see signs of stability. So in April, when we announced the second quarter performance, we hope to give you provide you with a business forecast. Moving on to the individual businesses. The internet advertising business, as you can see, for the six consecutive quarters, we have increased sales. So it is growing steadily, especially the internet ad business, 
our strength is technology, so we're using AI and also DX as well. Is we are seeing great many opportunities. So even within the internet advertising business, we have continued to make upfront investments. And one area is digital transformation. We're working with large large uh, companies as well as uh, local governments as well. So in various areas, we are working together with various entities. And with respect to the internet ad business, within the last quarter, first quarter, we've established three companies. One is Cyber Agent DX. So we are working with large companies to create new revenue streams. So this is one company, and, and another company will support the unmanned staff-free stores, as well as uh, another company will plan, produce, and operate online events. So we are planting the seeds for new businesses. Moving on to the game business, last year, Uma Musume Pretty Derby became a huge hit. And it was very scary. We didn't want it to just become a temporary hit, but it has continued to generate a high level of sales and it's becoming more stable as well. And we're going to be having an anniversary in February, but we want to continue to operate the, uh, this game so that it will be loved for a long time to come. And the operating profit was $17.1 billion for this quarter. Uma Musume Pretty Derby has surpassed 12 million downloads. And as I mentioned before, next month is going to be its first anniversary. Also, we are going to release Gcrest next month. And we're also working on Jujutsu Kaisen Final Fantasy as well as Tokyo Revengers. So these are major titles that we will be re releasing, which we will be releasing one by one going forward. Moving on to the media business. As you can see from the graph, this, the business is performing well. Abema is growing, and also the media-related business is also doing very well. This is the number of downloads. It's, a, it's reached, exceeded 76 million downloads. And the WAU, we had a major league when Otani was uh, very popular, doing great. So we benefited from that as well, but um, the WA has been remained stable at a high level. And currently, we have Shogi and Mahjong. So we have exclusive unique contents as well as um, high quality dramas and variety shows as well. We release them one after another, but going forward, we want to continue to improve on the quality and develop more original content as well, so we want to add to the portfolio. And we also have music, musician uh, lives as well, LDH, uh, Keisuke Kota, Hikaru Utada. We have live um, events and also um, combat sports as well, Naoya Inoue as well as uh, pro wrestling. So we have uh, released big content on pay-per-view, one after another. And Abema has, uh, and within Abema, pay-per-view has become established, has been established as one genre. And Abema has, is now compatible with Nintendo Switch as well, so you can watch our content on the gaming console. And this is the sales for Abema. As you can see here, advertising business grew significantly, and we didn't, we're not, no longer disclosing the, these figures, but the subscription is also increasing as well. Related business also has grown significantly, mainly around Win Ticket. Win Ticket has grown significantly. 
it's only been about two years since we since we launched, but it has continued to grow significantly rapidly. And we also have Midnight Karen. We have our own program as well. And Win Ticket is a service we issue Win Tickets in addition to the original program, but the online Kaling market, online betting market, has grown from 142 billion yen to 185 billion yen. So it has grown by, the market has grown by 1.3 times. And we've also expanded our share from zero to this level. It says 13%, but we started from zero and it went to 13 and then to 27. So it is a dramatic increase. Also, the other day we announced that we have welcomed Bevel Label, a content studio, into our group. It's a consolidated subsidiary now, and their production quality is on the world class level. So we are trying to gather top creators to this company and to continue to create world-class content from the studio. And this is the document that we share every time, but with respect to Abema, advertising and subscription will be the foundation and then grow related businesses for Abema. And this was the plan and we're on track. We're progressing per this strategy. And over the mid to long term, this has not changed either. Ad and game, while it's still stable, we want to launch a new media business and grow the business, expand the business and then and monetize the business. And it's been fire since we launched Abema. And we talked about how we're going to spend 10 years to grow this business and we're halfway there. And in the past, we invested in blogs as well as phones, the smartphone businesses as well. So we forwent um, the profits right in front of us to invest. And we've invested, so that, that's why we are where we are now. But uh, we're also at a stage where we need to invest again. So we will continue to keep mid to long term in mind to operate our company. So we hope that likewise, you will support us over the mid to long term. That's it from me. Thank you very much. This concludes Cyber Agents FY 2022 first quarter earnings briefing. Should you have any questions, please reach out to the IR counterpart. Thank you very much for joining us today.